So, and now what is uh, fun is the the counting, okay? And uh, I'm going to give you some examples, but before we start, pH, you remember this formula all the time. Here's bicarb, and here's PCO2, okay? And this is this is acid. This is base. And if we we talk about simple ABB disorders, simple means that there's only one disorder, and there's a compensation to it. Okay. So basically, if I'm having respiratory acidosis, the CO2 will go up. Okay. And that's the initial thing. So. I'm ca in case I'm having respiratory acidosis, CO2 will go up, so I'm hypoventilating, okay, respiratory acidosis, and the reaction of the kidneys will be what? It depends if it's acute, it won't be as good reaction or compensation. If it's chronic, if it takes long time, it's going to be better. But in both ways, PC or bicarb should increase as well, okay? So, uh, in, in the numbers, you'll see in, uh, you're going to have acidosis and you'll see increased CO2 and increased bicarb as a compensation. Okay? Yep. And we, we can play with this as much. And, and if, it's, if it's due to hyperventilation, if it's respiratory alcoholosis, it's just the, the opposite. Okay? So. First example, look at this. pH equals 702. CO2 is 16 torrs. And, or that's the same as millimeters of mercury. That's just the same. Torricelli was the one who described it. And bicarb is 4. And now all of you think about it. And try to tell me what type of disorder, what what type of simple disorder this is. Okay? So tell me. Look at it. Look at the numbers. And try to tell me. First time it's hard, but then you're going to see it's pretty simple. So tell me. And I'll give you a few seconds. So what, what could that be? What do you think? Well, still, we would need a special formula to know if it's chronic or acute, okay? But it's acidosis, obviously, okay? Very good. And why it is the thing you say, why it is metabolic? Because this acidosis only goes with this one, okay? Because is this acidosis? That's alkalosis. Because CO2 should be normally 40. And over here, this means hyperventilating, okay? Yep. Okay. So basically, over here, uh, if, if this number corresponds to bicarb, this is acidosis. It means it is metabolic acidosis very well. But unfortunately, over here, as I told you, with the compensation, the, the lungs have only one speed. So basically, out of this, it's a theoretical example. You cannot say if it's acute or chronic because the lungs are compensating only one way. Okay. You can say that uh, if the compensation is by kidneys, but not with uh, metabolic acidosis. Get it? Okay. Yeah. So this is, but very well, this is metabolic. And that's, that's the only thing we want to know from you. That's metabolic acidosis. Okay. Let's get another example. pH is going to be 7.48. Uh, CO2 is going to be going to be 47 millimeters of mercury and bicarb is going to be 34 so all of you think about it and what do you think is that respiratory alkalosis well look at the co2 
So, but anyways, think it over once more. Metabolic alkalosis because the HCO3 goes with the pH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Uh, is this, uh, guys, is this alkalosis? Normally it's 40. And I'm 47 mean, means I'm breathing less. I'm not getting rid of CO2. I'm hypoventilating. So that would be respiratory acidosis. But over here, you got alkalosis. It's over 7.4. So this, again, corresponds with this one. So this is the initial change. This is the problem. And this is only compensation. So basically, this could be that the person was vomiting, getting alcoholic. And that's why... Uh, as a reaction, he breathes less a bit. He hypoventilates. Okay? Yep. And last one. Look at this. pH is 7.26. And CO2, CO2 or partial pressure is going to be 60. And bicarb is going to be 26. So which one is this? 7.26. So 7.26 means what? That you are retaining CO2. Yep. Okay. And uh, if bicarb is 24, Oh, and uh, th uh, this is bad. Yeah, it should be 26. Sorry for that. <laughs> because with 24, it, uh, I, I looked uh, wrong. So th this would be 26. And now it's obvious. But obviously, it, it is very likely that this is this is the initial change. So uh, someone is hypoventilating over here. And the increased bicarb would be a reaction to it. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, or this could be really, it still could be respiratory acidosis because this co corresponds. And 24, if here would be 24, it was just very recent that the kidneys had no chance to react at all on it, okay? But still it's respiratory acidosis, okay? Yep. So, so th but these are direct changes or, I mean, simple ABB changes. But of course... They can mix together, which you're going to see uh, next week, okay? But for the exam and whatever, we want only this. We don't want any, uh, any complicated things, okay? So, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.